Hello, I'm Jane Afinagenova from the BMC Information Design and Development team. In this video, I will show you how to set up the availability calendar in BMC Digital Workplace. This feature is useful for employees when they need to request appointments with people from different company departments to get the required assistance. As an administrator, you can use availability calendar to set time and capacity of staff so that end users can see what time slots are available for requesting appointments. If you use BMC HR case management, you can set up calendars for HR appointments. If you use BMC Remedy IT service management, you can set up calendars for IT appointments. You can set up multiple calendars to reflect different locations and subjects of appointments. Now, as I'm logged into BMC Digital Workplace Admin Console, I will show you how to configure availability calendar. First, go to Help Desk. Select Calendar Configuration. Here you can add a new calendar. First, scroll down to the Appointment Will Generate section. You can choose either Incident or Request. And this action will change the view of the menu. You should select Request if you want to create an HR or IT appointment calendar. Then you should select the Request category. SRM items indicate an IT appointment calendar, while HR cases indicate an HR appointment calendar. In the Available Request column, you can search for the applicable service requests or HR solutions. For example, Time off for training or Workplace management. In this video example, I will select Incident. Now I will scroll up to show you how to configure the calendar settings. First, you should provide the name of your calendar. For example, I'll name my calendar Vancouver to indicate the geographical association. The Enable Calendar checkbox is selected by default. You might need to disable a calendar if, for example, the location or campus with which it is associated does not use the BMC Digital Workplace calendaring system for scheduling appointments. Next, you should select Associated Locations. For example, Vancouver Office. Then provide the default room name, for example, Conference 1. Then select the assigned group. You can choose the days that are available for the appointments in the Days Available section. Then provide the values for the following sections. Users can schedule appointments up to five days in advance. Note that the value here represents calendar days, but not business days. Users can schedule appointments a minimum of one hour in advance. The minimum value that is allowed here is one hour. Next, in the time and duration section, you should specify time slot parameters. This includes meeting duration, time slot interval, start of day, and end of day. In the Email Options section, you should specify contact email addresses and the BMC Digital Workplace email subject. I'll provide the following information. and add the subject as Vancouver calendar. Click Create. The new calendar is saved successfully. 
Note that after a calendar is created, it cannot be removed, it can only be disabled. After your calendar is set up, you can add information about resource availability in the Availability Calendar console. Here, you can define the every week default schedule, edit availability, and allocate staff count. On the specific date tab, you can set up exceptions to the weekly schedule. The current usage tab shows you how many staff members are scheduled to work with employees and how many are free. End users can request appointments on the catalog page of BMC Digital Workplace by clicking the Make an Appointment button. Here they can select a location Add description and choose from the available dates and time slots. This was a quick guide about setting up help desk appointments. Thank you for watching.